Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Jared with One Earth Mushrooms. So today I'm bringing you a how-to video on producing grain spawn in an instant pot. It's actually a pretty simple procedure and it's great to do if you don't want to invest in a pressure cooker for sterilization, but you have an instant pot. And even if you don't have an instant pot, they're pretty cheap. You can find them used. Uh, 50, 60, 70 bucks online through Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. So I wanted to put together a little video to show you how I sterilize grain spawn in my Instant Pot. If you want to follow along using a written procedure as well, head over to oneearthmushrooms.com where you'll find the written procedure that accompanies this video for free. There'll be a link in the description below. This video was brought to you ad-free by my supporters on Patreon. If you're interested in supporting the work I do, please check out the Patreon link in the description below. All right, let's get to work. So grab your Instant Pot, your rye grain, and the jars that you want to use for this. A colander, something to mix with, and then optional is gypsum and measuring spoons and cups. This is a quarter cup and a teaspoon, and another optional item is a scale. So the first way that we can get the right amount of grain to start with is by just filling the jars about a quarter to a third of the way full. The grain's gonna double in size, so keep that in mind. Next thing is to use a quarter or a half US cup measurement, and about half a cup is equivalent to 90 grams of rye grain. Of course, my favorite method is to use a gram scale. So weigh out the appropriate amount of grain for the number of jars you're doing, and then pour the grain into your Instant Pot. Gypsum is an optional ingredient that I add, and I use about 2% by weight of the dry grain. Here I'm using pelletized gypsum just because it's a little bit less messy. And this weighs about six grams per teaspoon. Weigh that out and then add water to your Instant Pot. So we wanna add enough water to put about an inch above the top of the grain. Then add your gypsum powder or pelletized gypsum into the Instant Pot. Give a little bit of a stir. And we're just gonna put the lid on and let this sit overnight to soak. Don't need to plug the Instant Pot in. You don't need to heat it up or anything. Really, we're just letting it soak overnight. Okay, so come back in the morning. This is about 12 hours later. The grain soaked up quite a bit of water. Give the grain a little bit of a mix and then we're gonna add a little bit more water to keep it about an inch above the top of the grain. As we cook the grain, it's going to absorb some of that water. We definitely don't want it to dry out. So plug your Instant Pot in and press the saute button. I keep it uh, set to about 30 minutes, but really you're just going to keep an eye on it as it comes up in temperature. Mix it a few times as it's warming up. And then and once it reaches a full boil, just boil it for about a minute or two. You don't need to get real precise with this. Give it another mix and then go ahead and turn the Instant Pot off. Just press the cancel button to do that. And then we're gonna drain all the water off using the colander. We'll just let this sit here for 10 to 15 minutes to drain. And then once it's drained, we can pour it out onto really any surface. I'm just using a baking sheet here to keep it nice and tidy. The reason we're doing this is to allow the grain to dry. Now we don't want to dry it completely, but we want to get it to the right moisture content. So here's an example of grain that's still too wet. You can see the surface of the grain is shiny. It definitely looks wet. So we'll let that sit for a little bit longer. The amount of time it takes is definitely dependent on your environment. 
So this ended up sitting for about an hour and a half. And if you see here, after an hour and a half, it looks a lot drier than the first time. And this is where I would call it good to go into the jar. So grab your jars, pull the lid off, fill your jars about halfway full. I only fill them halfway because this allows me room to do a grain to grain transfer later and still have room to shake the jar once it has that additional grain in it. Install the lids, make sure the lids have the filter on them. And these lids just have micro pour tape. And I put a little piece of tin foil over the top to seal or to stop moisture from coming into the jars as they sterilize in the Instant Pot. Not completely necessary, but it's a step that I do every time. Now we need something to keep the jars off the bottom of the Instant Pot, and this is gonna prevent them from breaking. I'm just using rings from other jars, but you can also use the trivet that comes with the Instant Pot. I lost mine, so I'm just using these here. Load your jars into the Instant Pot, put the lid on, and then plug it back into the wall. We're gonna select the pressure cook option. Make sure it's on high pressure, and if it's not, press the pressure level button. And then let's go up to an hour and 30 minutes and disable the keep warm function by pressing the keep warm button. Let this cook for the 90 minutes that you've input. I put this going before I go to bed. And then by the time I wake up in the morning, it's nice and cool. I can come back, take the lid off the instant pot, remove the jars and then remove the foil from the top of the jars. You can inoculate these as soon as they're cooled to room temperature. And that's what I would recommend. However, you can also wait up to two or three days if you can't get to it right away. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something along the way. If you're looking for more resources for mushroom cultivation, head over to oneearthmushrooms.com. I have a few calculators there and other resources such as written procedures for some of the videos that you've seen here on my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.